Hello everybody and welcome to India's biggest celebration of sporting knowledge and excellence here at the Ultimate Sports Quiz 2022. Let's welcome today's three contenders. Our first team comes from a city that has produced so many champions. Sachin Tendulkar, Michael Ferreira, Sunil Gavaskar, so many more. And Mumbai today will be represented by the Podar International School, IB. The second team comes from the city synonymous with Visalpodu, PSBB of Kekanagar, Chennai. And our final team for this episode comes from the city where that original whistle Podu man came from. MS Dhoni, Archer, Deepika Kumari have put this city on the international sporting map. Let's welcome St. Xavier's School from Ranchi. Isn't it wonderful to see all of you? You're all united by a love of sport and may it always be that way. But I'd love to know a little bit more about you, Podar International. Hi, I'm Vivan Talreja. And I'm a staunch follower of cricket. And I also do watch and play football and kabaddi. Well done, kabaddi. I like that, man. I like that. Not just cricket and football. Yes. Hi, I'm Dhyan Rajani. I'm the youngest quizzer here today. But I assure you, I'll be the most competitive too. Sports has always been a part of me. And I love to play cricket and badminton. And may it long be that way, but we'll check out how competitive you are. You've got the look already. Okay, let's go on to PSVB Chennai. Big history of sport and quizzing. Hi, I'm Sham from PSVB KK Nagar. And I love to play and watch football, cricket and chess. I'm not surprised you said chess is a grandmaster on every corner in Chennai, right? Okay, and your colleague? Hi, I'm Arjun from Great 10. And true to the words of my hero and guru in all aspects of life, MS Dhoni, I like to keep it calm, focus on the process and the result will take care of itself. So, is MS Dhoni from Chennai or from Ranchi? Ranchi. But his second home is in Chennai, so... I think some people in Chennai think it's his first home, but maybe I'll ask that to the other team. Let's get St. Xavier's Ranchi. Hi, my name is Shri Shranjan. I am from Ranchi. I'm a die-hard fan of cricket and I always follow it. Is MS Dhoni from Chennai or from Ranchi? It's Ranchi. He's born in Ranchi. It has to be, right? Hi, I am Tanmay Raghunsi. I like cricket. I also like to watch uh, Kabaddi and football. Well done. So, it's good to see that everyone likes not just cricket and football, but kabaddi is coming along. Maybe in course of time, volleyball, basketball, we get all these games in. So, what's this ultimate sports quiz all about? 27 teams with 54 of the brightest young sports enthusiasts coming together on this platform to lay claim to this. The finalists of this series, big dreamers of this contest, they're in for a really hearty reward. A reward that'll make their dream of watching their favourite sport live come true. An all-expenses-paid trip sponsored by Dream Set Go. A world where your dream of watching any leading sporting game live is tailored into an unforgettable experience. But for the moment, it's time to play Sitius. Sitius is all about grids. But there's a method to it. A 7 by 7 square with a letter maze. There's five names to guess. Five points for each correct answer. The names can be arranged any way. They could be left to right or top to bottom, first names, last names, sports persons, sport-related terms, all found on a theme. If you get all five correct, you get five points as bonus. You get the 25 points plus the five. But then, you can earn another 10-point bonus if you answer a connection question right. Now, remember that bonus question will pass to the other side if the assigned team fails to answer it. And of course, no negative points in this round. So, I would encourage all of you, just go for the answers. Go for it. Nothing to lose. Okay, so let's get our first grid in. Here is Bodar International IB, Mumbai. Right, Indian sports women on your grid. Right, go for it. Goswami, Neval, Batra, Batra, Mirza, Sindhu. Yes, indeed. What did you say at the start that you are? Competitor. There you go. Well done. You got all five in. That means not only do you get 25, you get the additional five as well, but 
Now you need to get the 10. Here is your bonus question. Who among these sports women is the only one not to have appeared at the Olympics? Julia Goswami. Absolutely. Julan Goswami it is and what an athlete she is. Julan Goswami is one of my like, great, great favourites. So well done, you've got all your points. And that means you've put a little bit of pressure as we head on to our next grid on uh, PSBB Chennai. Let's see what we've got for you. Okay, Indian Premier League captains. Your time starts now. Morgan. Rohit. Vaughn. Dhoni. Gambhir. Did you say Gambhir is the last one? Excellent. How much time? Listen, you're supposed to, you know, respect the question, take a little longer. You got You get your 30 points. Okay, here's your bonus question. Which of these cricketers has not yet won an IPL as a captain? Owen Morgan. Of course it is Owen Morgan. Well done. Very well done, PSBB Chennai. They've got their full points as well. Now, two teams, both with full points. Now, let's see what St. Xavier's Ranchi do. Here's your grid. Sports at the Summer Olympics. Okay, if your time starts now. Archery. Boxing. Chess. Tennis. Look at the third column in there. Golf. You missed out on the bonus question. You've still got 20, but you can still get your 10. Here is the bonus question for Ranchi. Which of these has only been a demonstration sport at the Summer Olympics? Tennis. Question passes. Udar International? Yes. yes. Yes, it is. The answer is indeed chess. And they're showing their competitive streak in here. So they get the add-on points, which sadly, St. Xavier's Ranchi missed out on. So here is our leaderboard. Both our international have made an early start with 50, but PSBB Chennai hardly, hardly anything to choose between the two sides at 40 and St. Xavier's Ranchi. A bit of catching up to do, but it's uh, not that far away. They are on 20. That brings us to the end of uh, Sitius. We'll take a little break. When we come back, there's so many points to be won in Altius. Uh, we'll use Checkmate five points. For our international, they need these five. Here is your question. Welcome back to the Ultimate Sports Quiz. We've, all, we've got three really good teams jostling for positions already. And now, let's see which team takes the lead. We're getting into Altius. Six subjects on display in a grid. Now, each subject has three questions under it, worth 5, 10 or 20 points. We'll start with the team that's trailing at the end of round one. They get the first go. Now, remember, you can pick 5, 10 or 20. Fives carry no negatives, 10 carry a 5 negative, and 20 points have 10 negative. But in case you go for a 10 or a 20 and then you say, oops, I don't know the answer, you can pass the answer and you do not get any negative points. If you give the answer, then you get negative points. But remember, the teams that go on the buzzer immediately after that are teams that have asked for the question. So the negative points will hold. So you see, there's lots happening. Here is our subject grid coming up and we're going to start with St. Xavier's Ranchi. What's your subject? Rishabh Pant. You want to go Rishabh Pant? 10. Here is your question. With which then wicketkeeper captain of Australia did Rishabh Pant get into a friendly banter during India's 2018-19 tour of Australia? Tim Payne. Tim Payne, why are your eyebrows going up? Tim Payne, yes! 
<laughs> okay, St. Xavier's Ranchi, they get their points too. Let's go PSBB, Chennai. Euro 2020, 10 points. Euro 2020 for 10 points. Here's your question. Which former Tottenham and current Brentford midfielder from Denmark momentarily collapsed during the UEFA Euro 2020 game between Denmark and Finland? Uh, Christian Eriksen. Of course, it was correct answer. 10 points to Chennai, which brings us to Podar International. They've caught up with you, Podar, but you've got a game in hand. Uh, we're going to take Rishabh Pant, five, five points. points. Okay, Rishabh Pant, five points. Here is your question. Which North Indian state team does Rishabh Pant represent in the Ranji Trophy? Vivan and Dhyan. Delhi? Is correct. Oh, did you guess? No, I connected with the IPR. Okay, there you go. It's a dangerous thing to do though because people can play with different franchises. But it doesn't matter how they got there, they got there. Okay, let's go the circuit again. Back with St. Xavier's Ranchi. Let's take a look at the grid and see what choices you have. Okay. Rishabh Pant 20. Wow, they're going Rishabh Pant 20. You can already see young Rishabh Pant is starting to attract a lot of interest among these people. Here is your question. By scoring a century at which ground did Rishabh Pant become the first Indian wicketkeeper to score a hundred in Australia? Kaba. Question passes. Bodar. MCG. Passes. PSBB Chennai are holding back. They're not going for it. St. Xavier's Ranchi, you said the Gabba. Podar International said MCG. The answer, of course, was the Sydney Cricket Ground. So that's interesting. We've got two teams that lost points on that. Now, here's an opportunity. Let's see what the grid has left for PSBB Chennai. Uh, we'll take Euro 2020, five points. Euro 2020, five points. Okay, they're playing safe. Here's your question. Patrick Sheik was joint top scorer with five goals at the UEFA Euro 2020 edition, along with which Portuguese star? Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Could it be anybody else? Yes, indeed. PSVB Chennai, I think, have played that very cleverly. But what that means as the leaderboard starts to get closer and closer is what is Podar International going to choose in the last question in this particular round? Let's have the grid up for you, Podar. Uh, we'll use checkmate, five points. You're using checkmate? Checkmate, five points. Podar International, they need these five. Here is your question. V. Anand, P. Hari Krishna, and R. Pragnananda are thus far the only Indians to have beaten which world number one Norwegian chess player? Magnus Carlsen. Is indeed the right answer. Magnus Carlsen, it is. What a fantastic result it was. So, it's starting to get a little close. Let's take a look at what the leaderboard is showing now. Okay, it's close between the two teams. PSBB Chennai have just snuck ahead in that round to 55. I thought Podar did really well to come back right at the end with that five-pointer to reduce the deficit. St. Xavier's Ranchi, keep at it because there's lots of points to be scored still. They are on 20. So, we've already started to see a lot of movement. But before we go into our break, I've got a question for you as well. The question for you is, which Indian wicketkeeper is married to the squash player Deepika Palikkal. So when we come back, we'll have four tiers for you. But Ranchi is starting to make a bit of a go here. Yeah? They've picked up a couple of 10-pointers. Chennai get 10 points, a little bit of a lead. But Podar, you've got to come fighting back. Let's see what we've got for you. This is hotting up now. Welcome back. This is the Ultimate Sports Quiz 2022. And what a time we are having. I hope you're having a good time too because we left a question for you. Which Indian wicketkeeper is married to the squash champion Deepika Palikal? And the answer, of course, is Dinesh Kartik. But the connection doesn't end there, by the way. 
Dinesh Karthik's mother-in-law, Deepika's mother, Susan Itticharya, also played cricket for India. One of the earliest matches that I covered, I actually did commentary on that game. So, yeah, little trivia there. Okay, it's time now to get into our next round, our deciding round. It's time to play Fortius. Here are the rules and they're quite simple, actually. One team member steps aside and sits on the bench while the other decides, plays on. It's up to the team captain to decide who plays between the two. The point system is interesting. Ten points on a correct answer, five on a wrong one. Even if you carry over the question, the point system remains the same. But if after five questions, you think, ah, no, maybe we can substitute and someone else can take the remaining five, you can do that as well. You can swap players. So, Vivan, Dhyan, which one of you is going to stay on? I'm going to play, Vivan's going to sit. Okay, all the best, Dhyan. And let's see who joins Vivan there. Sham, Arjun, which of you is playing? I'll be leaving, he's leaving. he'll be playing. Okay, Arjun, make friends with Vivan while you're there. Shreesh and Tanmay. He would be staying here, I would be here. Okay, well done. Let's go into our first question. Which club won the UEFA Champions League title in 2021? PSBB? Chelsea. Is the right answer. The question was, which club won the UEFA Champions League title in 2021? Beating Manchester City. But you didn't need that extra clue. They knew the answer. So Chennai get 10 points. A little bit of a lead. But Podar, you've got to come fighting back. Let's see what we've got for you. Question number two coming up. Which country won the men's and the women's T20 World Cup titles on the same day in 20... Yes, Ranchi. West Indies. Yes, indeed. Well done, St. Xavier's Ranchi. Excellent answer. 2016, the men's and the women's T20 World Cup titles won on the same day by the West Indies. One of my favorite players, Deandre Dotton, still playing for the West Indies. It's great fun. Okay, let's go into question three. This is hotting up now. Which Croatian is still the only male tennis player to win a Grand Slam singles title while being a wild card. Plus 10, minus 5, it's playing on the Croatian, the only male tennis player to win a Grand Slam singles title while being a wild card. Nobody went for it. The answer is... You want to give it to me nonetheless? We won't cut points. Goran Ivanisevic. Goran Ivanisevic, what a character he was. Wild card and went all the way through. No points on that round. The status quo remains. Here's question number four. In 1987, Niaz Murshed became the first South Asian to earn the chess grandmaster title. Which country does he hail from? Like a tennis match. I'm just looking this way and that, this way and that, this way and that. They're not going for it. They're playing safe. They're holding on to the lead. The others don't want a negative. The answer is Bangladesh. Four questions down, six to play. Here's question number five. The Singh sisters, Divya, Pratima and Prashanti, have played for the Indian national team. In which sport? Invented by the American James Naismith. Ranchi went basketball. first. Basketball. Basketball. And the moment you heard Naismith, you knew it was basketball. Correct answer. Well, I'll tell you what, Ranchi is starting to make a bit of a go here. Yeah? They've picked up a couple of 10 pointers. We are halfway through into 40 years. Gentlemen, you're happy, everyone? You want to change your teams? You want to do something else? They're looking at each other. Okay, let's go to question six. Which American? was the last person before the big four of Federer, Nadal, Djokovic and Murray to be ranked world number one in men's singles. Ranchi? Andre Agassi. Andre Agassi, no, Ranchi. The answer was... No? Andy Roddick. The answer was Andy Roddick. Okay, we're getting close. Four questions left. Everything can change from here on. Let's go into our next question. Okay, in which sport did KD Jadav 
win India's first Olympic medal in an individual sport since independence in 1952. BSBB happy to hold on to their lead. Time is up. The answer, of course, was Khashba Jadav in wrestling. 1952 wrestling. Right, three questions left. Here we go. Which English middle distance runner and neurologist was the first person to run the mile in less than four minutes? No, 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 no. Okay, there's another no. The answer, you knew the answer, didn't you, Chennai? Roger Bannister. The answer was Roger Bannister. You could have sealed it there, you know. Two to play, a difference of 15 points between Podar International and PSBB Chennai. Question number nine, here it is. Led by Jaipal Singh Munda, in which year did the Indian men's hockey team win their first ever Olympic gold medal in Amsterdam. Chennai can play safe here because Chennai plays safe. They've got a lead of 15. Saviors and Podar. No show, no go means that Chennai have a 15-point lead with one left. 1948. You had to go for it, didn't you? Sadly, the answer was in 1948. But you had no choice. You had no choice, Dhyan. And I appreciate that you went through without having a choice. This is 1928 in Amsterdam. Okay, here's the last question. I thought Podar played it really well and full marks to Podar. Ranji came up with some good answers. But this is the last question of this round. And this is the question. Which team sport a cross between volleyball and football and played with a ratan, R-A-T-T-A-N, is considered Malaysia's national sport. Malaysia's national sport. For it. Okay, let me go to the three of you sitting there. Sepak Takra. There they go. The boy from Chennai he knew it, Sham. Well done. The answer is Sepak Takro. Going to the final leaderboard. Let's get Vivan. Come along, Vivan. Arjun and Shreesh. Come join your teammates. We've had a fabulous round, and I, I really do think these three teams were top draw. Let's take a look at this final leaderboard. Love your pluck at the end, said Xavier's Ranchi. 35 points. You did well today. Now, Podar International just got a little stuck in the end overs. But I'll tell you what, what, what class are you in? Seven. And if in the seventh standard you can come and produce a performance like that, I want to meet you when you're in the eighth, ninth and tenth because you'll be wow by then. So well done, Vivan and Dhyan. And Sham and Arjun, you were just too professional, just too cool, just too calm. And you finished with 65 points. And so that's the way it is, isn't it? The winner takes it all today. The winner was PSPB Kekanagar from Chennai. They get for themselves a place in the semi-final. Not quite where they want to be, but on the way there. That's it for now then. Till we meet again with three new teams from three new cities, it's time to say congratulations to PSBB Chennai. Join us for much more.